Good morning, June, Drews. Yes. Uh, how are you? Good. I would like to ask you a few questions regarding your life so that many people will be encouraged and blessed. So we know that you have been living for many years and your marriage has been uh, many years lasting in the United States. So what is the secret of your you know, marriage that lasted many years that you lived with your husband till he passed away? What can I say? God directs you. You obey the word of God. You love one another. You're not always right. You're sometimes wrong. At the end of the day, if you've had a dispute, you work it out before you go to bed. Um, I don't know. You work with one another. That's right. So you have a large family. How many children you have? And how did you decide to have so many children? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think God decided that because we never planned. We just took the children as God sent them to us. We have eight children, four boys and four girls. They're all doing well, sort of. And, uh, I don't regret having any one of them. They've been a blessing. How did you manage the, such a large family in the United States? You have them one at a time, and the adjusting is gradual, and it's easy. There's, you know, the, it isn't as if you have eight all at once, and oh, wow, what am I going to do with all these children? They come one at a time. Mine came one at a time. And you make adjustments, and as the children grow older, they get helpful. They help with the little ones. It all works out. I know that you are a Christian. So do you have anything to say about your relationship with God that affected your marriage and family life? I told Karen that he has directed my life. He's, his plans for me have been sure. I, he found me a job. He found me a husband. He found me a place to live. I haven't planned any of those things. They just, did they just happen or did uh, God plan those for me? I think he planned those for me. Are all your children believers in Christ? Are they what? Believers in Christ. All your children are believers in Christ? What would you say, Rose? Well, I know we are. Yes, I think so. So it's how many? Hard, it's hard to know when they're so far away, but they are all loving children. Oh. That's wonderful. How many grandchildren you have? Fifteen. Sixteen. That's fifteen. That's 15. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So, do you have any high point in your life you want to say, share? High point? Oh, what would I say is a high point? That, that you are very, very fond of sharing about it. You often remember that high point in your life. <laughs> Being married. Yeah, getting married, of course. I remember some of the births. Oh, my goodness. Uh, can't forget those. Some I forget, but some were so dramatic. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I had one child. And he just popped out of me. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was something else. Do you have any regrets? No. No, I have no regrets. I would have liked to have traveled more. But I'm not a good traveler, so 
I, I enjoy listening to other people's experiences and I, I'm happy for them that this is, this is what they like. I like singing. I can't anymore. I feel like there's something wrong here that doesn't work. Well, I wouldn't. Marriage, children, my party last year, that was great. That was so memorable to have all my family here. That was wonderful. Do you miss your husband? Of course. I miss my mother too. Oh. The, the, I miss Hilbert's family. Questions come up. They're not here to answer. I don't have anybody to give me the answers anymore. That's hard. Yeah. Don't you feel God has an answer for you? Well, I don't know, I suppose. He took care of me all this time, so <clears throat> he probably does. But I don't know what it is. I plan to be in heaven with a with with Hilbert and well, let's see. My mom, she she and my grandma. Yeah. I think you're gonna ask me what is my success to long life? I think it's don't worry. God commands us not to worry, mm -hmm. and I don't worry much. And when people tell me that they worry, that's wrong. You shouldn't worry. Turn it over to God. He'll give you the solution. Yeah, I think people worry themselves to death. That's so what I believe. So how many years your husband lived? 89. 89. So you are overliving your husband. So you are happy in life. Yeah. You are happy in life. Yes. Well, I'm content. You are content. Praise I'm the Lord. I'm content. So do you have any, any advice or counsel for the families in the United States and in other parts of the world like India? Well, what does it say in the Bible? What do the commandments tell us? If people would take to heart God's commandments, things would go well for them. They might get sick, but if they turn it over to God, it'll, it'll, it'll work out in some way or another. I think what's wrong in this country right now is that we are, have gone away from God. Just think of those Ten Commandments. What a, what a guideline for life. And they're being tossed aside as if they were rubbish. Um, no. Going back to God, that, that's what it will take. Thank you so much. God has blessed you. And what did you hope in life now? What do I hope in life now? Oh, I like to see my children once in a while and get together with them. And I enjoy my friends. I have friends at church that are so good to me. Uh, well, <laughs> I wish there were a mir miracle that would clean up this house and yard, but that's not going to work. I don't think God's going to send a miracle for that. I think he has workers that don't want to work. Uh, no, I have no, no special plans. Do you have any dreams that you want to realize that have not been realized till now? No. No. Thank you so much for sharing and it's a blessing to all to hear about your life. 
life story that God has blessed you, led you thus far. Mm -hmm. We keep praying for you that oh, God you. gives you good health and you continue to live to be a blessing to all. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. God bless you. I you. Yeah. Here is Roots, one of our uh, daughters of June Roots. And uh, Roots, what do you say about your mom that you have been living with her many years? And She's an inspiration. She's, she's guided me, led me in a number of ways. Thank you for sharing. Karen is a friend of June and Rhodes, and uh, we want to ask her, uh, how do you see June? You have been perhaps associated with her many years now. I just think she's a wonderful lady, and she's an inspiration to me. I think that she um, still has a lot to give to people. Um, she has a very... Um, calm, uh, quiet spirit, and um, I appreciate that in her. I, I, I think she, I think she's absolutely wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Start. I, I'm happy to wait. Use, wait. And, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm happy to interview June Rules this morning in Milwaukee, United States of America. It's a joy to see her and to be with her.